Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to show you my nail nook setup. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different than all my other videos because I am going to take you on step by step on how I set up everything. Also everything is located down below in my Amazon storefront link so make sure you check that out. I also wanted to mention that the first six items in the nail nook folder are the things that I use to create my nail nook area. So let's get started. The first item we're going to talk about is these frosted plastic cups. Now these cups do come in a set of six and basically they're just regular cups, nothing fancy about them. But I do like this part about it when you have this little label sticker. Don't mind these scratches, this is my cup for my buffers and filers. So again, you guys can take this off and they actually have extra so you can, you know, reuse them again. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys how they look on like Amazon when you see them, when you go into my storefront. Um, I do want to mention that if you end up looking it up by yourself, there are different color cups that you can get. Now these are the hooks that I decided to get. Um, these are just plastic black ones. And I like that they have this back hook in it because when you hook it into the pegboard, they actually don't move as much. They do have some metal ones that um, have this little metal thing that comes across here. I didn't like how that looks, so I actually just decided to get these um, black ones. And they match really good to the pegboard. And again, I'm going to show you how it looks like when you go into the Amazon storefront. And you could get a pack of 50 or 100. Now, these containers are actually my favorite out of the bunch that I got. Um, I'm definitely going to end up getting more of this particular brand. Um, so what you would do is um, you would take this hook. Now, all of like the items, they do bring their own attachments to the pegboard. So you would pe slide this onto the pegboard and then slide this down onto the um, hook. And it's actually really, really secure. Like I said, I really like this brand. And I think the diameter for this one is 4 by 4 by 4 Now, since I recorded this, Amazon did change the prices on some of the items, but these are definitely worth it. Um, like the $20 is actually not that bad for four containers. Um, so I definitely, like I said, I love these. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the little shelves that I got. These are plastic, but I probably are going to end up getting the, the, a different type of brand. Uh, and I'll tell you guys why later, but I like that they have this little shelving where you can put stuff inside. So right now, like for example, this is like a selfie light. So it's really... Um, like wide or long ways or whatever it is uh the thing that i liked about it of course is having the little hooks but then having those other secure little hooks at the bottom so they actually go into the pegboard as well and i think these also came in a set of four i believe like I said before, I'm probably going to get end up getting different ones because when you put stuff inside of them, they tend to get a little bit wobbly and it tends to like fall down a little bit like this, like on the pegboard. I'll show you guys later. Don't worry about it. But I did add other shells in the Amazon storefront because um, like I said, I rather you guys get a better one than this one. Now, of course, if you are still interested in these particular shelves, um, this is the how it would look like, and you could get them in a four-piece or a two-piece. The next thing we're going to talk about is the paper towel holder. One of the things that I liked about it and that I was looking for specifically is to be able to um, basically refill it. So I did uh, find one where it has like an open end at the, at the other side, and this is actually just my little mask holder for when I use harsh liquids. So this is how they look like. Um, again, you can get it in more than one set. So a set of one or just two. Um, I don't know why you would need to, but uh, it is an option, of course. All right, and last but not least, we're actually gonna talk about the actual pegboard. Now you do have to screw it into the wall and you do have to use it to where you have to um, secure it. So you have to use like secure screws. They do come with it, but I just wanna let you guys know that. It comes with two panels and the panels are actually fairly large. 
The diameters of this, I believe, is 16 inches by 32 inches. Again, there's two panels, so of course it's bigger than that, but I'm just talking about for one uh, diameter, for one panel. And um, again, you do have to screw it into the wall, so if you decide to get this, just make sure that you have the spacing. And it is metal, so you can actually use magnets for it as well. So here's how the listing looks like. Now, one of the things that I liked about this particular pegboard is that it comes in different colors. So you can actually just match it to your own aesthetic, to your own nail nook, nail nook and just make it your own. Okay, so this is essentially how it would kind of look like. I mean, I did my own design, how I want my pegboard to be. And of course, you can make it your own and just design it a different way. But let me go ahead and just show you how I set mine up. And then we're going to go ahead and get started on all the items actually attached to the pegboard. So let's get started with those um, square containers. So I am obsessed with um, cuticle oil, as you can see. For this one, I have candy skincare on this particular one. So this is how it slides on and slides off. And you can fit about six in it standing up. This one is my Scales of a Mermaid cuticle oil. Now this one is where I have all of my Triple D Chrome pens. Um, I tried to not have the ring light shine on it too, too, too much because it has a little bit of glare, but I definitely wanted to show you guys how everything was set up. This is how she looks like on the side. And I got these little, um, like diamond things, They're actually little plastic diamond things from the dollar store, literally for a buck. And there's two of them in there. So this is how I did it. So I can stand up all of the, um, chrome pens up. Okay, so remember how I said these are how the cups with the little labels on them. I didn't actually label them on them, but I did wanted to show you how it would look like labeled. Um, so on this one, I have everything like my um, brushes for nail art. I have my bona fide files in there. I have my scissors, um, my builder gel brushes and things like that in this particular brush. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> particular cup. My other ones are my dusting brushes. So basically all of my brushes, my ombre brushes, go in this cup and then that remember that scratched up cup yeah this is why I have all of my filers and buffers in here and um, as you can see it fits a lot in there so yeah definitely recommend these cups for sure and so this is how you would remove them I wanted to show you guys this part because I feel like it's important if you decide to get a pegboard and you want to move it around so these actually slide out like this or and then just hook back up and then you just basically slide the cup in so really really easy okay I wanted to show you guys the top of the cups this is where I have my two little fake plants up here this one I got from Target for like three bucks and they're always available so and inside the cup I actually put my extra hooks in there and I have them on both of them so this particular uh, plant I got from Ikea three bucks as well so if you don't have an Ikea near, I would suggest just get the ones from Target just fine. And again, I have my extra hooks located at the bottom of the cup. Now we're going to go ahead and into the show. So this is what I was talking about. So this is how it's supposed to be. Like that's actually straight leveled and they tip down quite a lot. Now nothing actually comes out or falls out, but I just wanted to show you guys why I, I like them, but then I wouldn't recommend them. Now, I like them because you can put stuff inside them. Like right here has my ring light and these are extra like cuticle roller ball, little, you know, cuticle roller thingies. So the shelf up top is where I have my extra two little cute sugar skulls and some more vitamins. Um, these are not open and I don't have anywhere to store them. So I just thought to put a shelf all the way at the top where I don't need them right now. So again, my two sugar skulls and my extra vitamins. Now for these two shells, I actually um, tend to reach for these a lot. This one is where I have my lint-free wipes. These are my dry ones. And then these are my alcohol pads, which I use on my manis and my um, my swatches. This is a 
um, a little lens for my camera to um, amplify all the pictures. And then the bottom one down here are my two builder gels, some gel top coats, and some more cuticle roller balls. Before we get started, I actually wanted to show you guys how all my swatches are set up or actually how they're hooked up. They are separated by particular brands, um, but again, I wanted to show you guys before we get started on the hooks or the swatches. This is how the hook looks like inside of the pegboard. They do move a little bit, but I like that you do, you're able to like move them around if you need to. I did space them out to where they overlap them a little bit, as you can tell right here, but still be able to unhook the swatch under it. Like I said earlier, they are separated by brands. So this one is Dipped and Dusted. This one's Pamper Purdy's and Kimber's Creations. These two are Soul Dips and I have more on the way, so that's why this one is a little bit skinny um this one is manny moguls these right here are uh double dip these are my gels and of course the rest is my biggest collection is triple d love them as you can tell obsessed so yeah that's how all my swatches are hooked up I wanted to show you guys this because um, I think it's really important to have in your nail nook. Um, I definitely recommend both of these uh, spinning organizer and these drawers. Now, it's not part of the pegboard organization, but it is located in my Amazon storefront as well. Um, it just frees up a lot of space. And like I said, I definitely recommend it. I also got these ceramic um, holders. And they come in different shades and different like colors. So I thought that was really cute because they come in a set of two for a really good price. Back here is where I have all of my swatches. And I have some alcohol spray to disinfect. I got this little container at Walmart for a dollar, which holds my um, Triple D drill. And then this container also has alcohol. But for my lint-free wipes, I got that one from Double Dip. This other ceramic cup actually has my candy skincare um, cuticle pens. And this drawer I actually got from Michaels, but Amazon does have dupes for them. You just have to search for them. But I just like how big this was, so um, shout out to Carol from Toby Nails. She's the one who actually told me this, and I fell in love, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get end up getting another one. All right, you guys so i really hope that you enjoyed this video um so i really hope that it helps some of you guys organize your area i have a small space to work with so this actually helped me a lot to just expand everything and just keep everything organized um so if you guys end up doing it please take pictures i want to see everything that you guys do um so don't forget to comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye